within Teach to Lead, we've had a number of enormously successful projects. We've also had a number of incrementally successful projects. And I consider all of those huge successes for Teach to Lead. Um, in Marshall, Michigan, we had a team that came together and they were dealing with a singular and smaller problem of trying to get a data project that they had started where they were collecting not just test data, but also cognitive, social, emotional, um, other types of data on their kids through all the grades in the middle school and also collaborating with, um, with other grades. And they were really thinking about how do we get this, how do we continue this data project that we think works? And they went through the Teach to Lead process and what they realized is we don't just need a mechanism for keeping data and we don't just need somebody who can coordinate the data. We also need somebody who can coordinate parents and regularly interact with parents in order to collect more data. And what we also need is actually wraparound services in our small rural Michigan district um, such as research uh, experts from universities and medical services and dental services and mental health services. And they walked away from the leadership lab, which is after the summit, with real commitments from the higher education community to provide some of those services to their schools. So they walked in with an idea about data collection and they walked away from the teach to lead process, although we continue to be in contact with them, with a whole host of new fresh services for their hardest to reach, highest poverty kids. That, in my book, is a huge success. We've seen other successes as well that are also enormous. Hybrid roles that are being strongly considered statewide in the state of Connecticut. And that has been led by a team of teachers who had thought about hybrid roles in a different way, in a unique way, a way that they had never been thought, of before, thought about before for the state of Connecticut. That's huge. We've seen foreign language instructors say, you know what, good professional development doesn't exist for us, so we should create it. And they came to the Teach to Lead Summit, and they started the process of creating good professional de development for instructional, um, for foreign language instruction. That, these are the kinds of things, they differ enormously. They are in, in, so diverse, but the, the reality is teacher leadership is the vehicle um, and, and the teachers are the experts who will come up with the best solutions to solve the hardest problems in the profession.